Can you weed on your tomato plants and still get a good crop? Can you use human urine as a cost-effective alternative to the liquid fertilizers that you would buy in the shop? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be finding out whether or not we can use human urine as an alternative to tomorite, the liquid feed that is designed for tomatoes and other fruiting plants as well. I'm very interested to find out if we can get away with it, because if urine is a good fertilizer and a good alternative, then we may as well just be weeing on our tomato plants instead of getting liquid fertilizers. Can we wee on our tomato plants and get a good crop? Let's find out. So to start off, I sowed my tomato seeds at the middle of March in grow more compost in five centimeter pots. I started them off under the grow lights at home and the variety which I'm growing for this experiment is Cocktail Crush. These experimental tomato plants were started off alongside all my other varieties so that is why there's so many of them but within a couple of weeks they were thriving and doing so well. So I'm planting three tomato plants each of the same variety, Cocktail Crush, in these 30 litre buckets filled with Grow More multi-purpose compost nothing else i'm not adding any fertilizers or anything like that and i've tried to choose three tomato plants that are pretty much the exact same they're not the exact same but they are pretty much identical or at least as close to as i possibly can get them i'm going to be feeding one of these tomato plants weekly with tomorite tomato feed one of them weekly with a diluted urine solution and then one of them I'm not going to be feeding anything. And my choice of plant support for these tomato plants is bamboo canes, just keeping it nice and simple for this experiment. I'll also be cutting the side shoots off these tomatoes to train them vertically and keep them nice and tidy as I would with other indeterminate varieties. I'm also going to be growing these three tomato plants in the greenhouse. They'll be getting around six to eight hours of direct sunlight per day. As I said before, these three tomato plants are pretty much identical. I even removed flower buds before planting so that all three plants were the same and had the same start. I also mulched these tomato plants with strulch as well because during the summer in the greenhouse things will get quite difficult with the watering. I'm not going to be applying this urine fresh. I'm going to be diluting it one part urine to 10 parts water in this six litre watering can here. And I'm going to be applying it once per week once them flowers appear on the tomato plants up until they finish fruiting at the end of the season. Human urine has an MPK ratio of around 11, one to two and a half. So that's very, very high in nitrogen. And if I were to apply it fresh, it's probably gonna burn the plants and do damage. Any other information? Uh, my diet consists of plenty of fruit and vegetables. I'm a coffee drinker and I am partial to the occasional cherry bacon tart. I don't know whether or not that will make a difference with the nutritional value of this urine, but I just thought I'd add that information in there anyway. So the urine will be diluted one part urine to 10 parts water, and the tomorite tomato feed will be diluted as per the manufacturer's instructions. Each plant got a six litre can of its feed per week. When things warmed up in the summer, they were getting an additional watering can just of water per week as well. And within just a few weeks, the plants were throwing out flowers, so it was time to get feeding. And it wasn't long before the plants started to set some decent bunches of fruit. All three plants seemed to be setting fruits just fine. And to be honest with you, I couldn't see any difference between the tomato plant that was fed the tomorite and the tomato plant that was fed the urine and the tomato plant that wasn't fed anything. All three plants seemed to be growing the exact same, but this wasn't going to last for very, very long though. Things were about to change. 
The plants were doing really well and all three plants had decent bunches of fruit. As the bunches of fruit developed and more grew, I decided to cut off the lower leaves to open the plants up a bit and improve airflow because the last thing I wanted was disease to kill my tomato plants off and completely ruin all the hard work we've done so far. By around the 10th of July, I started to notice a difference between the three plants. The plant that wasn't fed anything looked quite skinny and there weren't as many fruits on them as the other ones. The urine fed plant looked very very leafy, the foliage was very dark and lush and there were some decent fruits on there I must say. The tomato plant that was fed the tomorite feed looked pretty good as well to be honest with you, not as many leaves as the urine fed plants, a good balance of leaves and tomatoes I would say. But I couldn't help notice how much foliage was on that urine fed tomato plant and just how dark them leaves were. I also noticed that the urine fed tomato plant grew a little bit taller as well. By the 15th of July, much to my excitement, the fruit started to ripen, which meant that the harvesting was about to commence and I had to start writing down the results of this test. I had to do it over time though because I couldn't harvest all the fruits at once. It had to be done steadily throughout the entire season. And on the 19th of July the first fruits were ready for picking. It seemed as though the fruits on the tomorite fed plant ripened first and it was then time to start weighing the fruits and writing down the results. By the 29th of July, the plants were throwing out tomatoes. They were doing really well. But just look at the difference between the three plants. They looked so different at this point. The tomato that wasn't fed anything just looked skinny. The leaves weren't a great colour. But look at the leaves on the urine fed tomato plant here completely different to the tomato plant that wasn't fed anything. And to be honest, the tomato plant that was fed the tomorite didn't look too bad to be honest. It looks like a normal tomato plant, um, but look at the difference. That is just insane. So there was a huge difference between the three plants, but what's the yield going to look like? That is the question which I did not know the answer to, and I couldn't wait to find out. And it was a long three months of watering, picking, weighing, and recording the weights to find out the results. Dun, dun. Now towards the end of the season when things started to slow down a bit there were a lot of unripe tomatoes which just wouldn't ripen so I did pick quite a few tomatoes that were unripe but I weighed these just as I did with the ripe ones and at the end of September the plants had finished the last fruits had been picked and weighed and it was time to clear the plants up and get ready for the winter. Quite a few of you guys suggested that we do a taste test, so I think it'd be silly not to. So we're going to do a bit of a taste test. So I couldn't do this tomato urine experiment without doing a taste test. It would be rude not to do a taste test. So we've got some tomatoes here which we've fed with tomorite. We've got some tomatoes here which we've fed with nothing, just water. And then we've got tomatoes here which we've fed with diluted urine. Not. <laughs> 
not pure urine, it's been diluted about one part urine to 10 parts water roughly. So we're gonna start with nothing to begin with and see what they taste like. Where they taste like nothing. Like or just water. tomatoes. Well, shop but tomatoes just taste like water, I suppose, but we'll see what these ones taste like. Okay, so nothing. That actually tastes nice. Yeah. Oh. They do taste nice, but homegrown tomatoes do taste nice, don't they? Mm. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? We'll do, the, we'll do the Tom Wright ones. They taste more tomatoey. You think know, they taste more tomatoey? Yeah, they've got a richer flavour, I think. <laughs> you've got a more of a tomatoey flavour. Right, so now we're going to try, there's a moment you've all been waiting for, isn't it? We're going to try the tomatoes that have been grown and been fed by urine. My urine! Um, you seem it, really proud of that. My urine, <laughs> my urine has grown these tomatoes and I don't know if it's worth mentioning but I drink plenty of coffee. I do drink a bit of water, probably not as much water as I should do. I, uh, I drink uh, Diet Coke as well. Mm. Um, I have porridge for breakfast and I have a diet that contains quite a lot of vegetables and fruits as well. Mainly because you grow them all. <laughs> I don't know if that would affect my urine in any way with the nutrients, I don't know, or the flavour of the tomato. But we're going to try these tomatoes now and see if we can taste any difference. I'm excited. It, it, it's probably worth mentioning these tomatoes are very ripe as well. Yeah, they're fully red, fully ripe, so they'll have much more flavour as well. Why does it taste sour? Yeah. Is it just the bit I had? I think that you're letting the urine get into your head now. They taste very similar to the other ones. Mm. They've got a more tangy flavour. But what I've noticed then is the skin is much tougher. Did you notice that? The skin feels tougher than the other ones. You're just feeding me up on smiles, aren't you? Yeah, they do have tougher skins than the urine fed ones, I've noticed. But apart from that, there's not actually that much difference between all of them in flavour. But we thought we'd do this test anyway because um, you know, it'd be silly not to, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it has to be done. The flavours were quite similar, but if anything, the urine-fed ones have a tangier flavour. The other ones seem to be a bit sweeter. I noticed that the urine-fed tomatoes had thicker skins though. So it's the end of September, the tomato plants have finished, and it's now time to add up all the results of this test. How did they do? Which plant yielded the most tomatoes? So the tomato plant that was fed with nothing, just water, yielded 1,230 grams of tomatoes. And we picked 36 fruits from this plant, each weighing an average of 34.1 grams each. The urine-fed tomato plants yielded 2,320 grams, and we picked 77 tomatoes from that plant, weighing an average of 30.1 grams per tomato. And finally, the tomorite-fed tomato plant yielded 2,574 grams of tomatoes, and we picked 76 tomatoes from that plant, with an average weight of 33.8 grams per tomato. So from these weights here, it definitely appears that it's better to feed your tomato plants with tomorite or urine rather than nothing. The lower average weight of the tomatoes from the urine fed plants, I think is because of the nitrogen. The plant has more nitrogen and puts that into the leaves, hence lots of leafy green growth, but that results in smaller tomatoes overall. But still, 2,320 grams of tomatoes from the urine fed ones and all three of them plants yielded 6.1 kilograms of tomatoes which I think is pretty impressive given that one of them plants was fed with nothing. 
Now, was this a fair test? I think it was pretty fair. It could have been much more fair. I could have grown multiple plants of the same feed instead of just one, because there is a chance it could have been a fluke. But I didn't have the space to do that. But had I had the space, I could have done that and the results would have been more clear, I think. But based on this test with just three plants, there's a clear difference between the three. Not only with the yield, but with the growth as well and the leaves. I noticed that the Tomorite fed plant had a more balanced structure. It had a good balance of fruit and leaves. There wasn't too much in the way of leaves and they were a nice colour as well. They were just a medium green. Whereas the tomato that was fed with urine had dark green leaves and there were much more of them leaves as well. And I think that's because of the presence of nitrogen in the urine, which has made a lot more leafy growth. But with all that being said, we still had a pretty good crop of tomatoes from the urine fed ones. In fact, they weren't that far behind the tomorite fed ones, very interestingly. Only a couple of hundred grams or so less than the tomorite fed ones. And that is actually not what I expected. I expected the tomorite ones to outperform both of these other tomatoes. I thought the presence of nitrogen in the urine was going to just produce loads of leaves and not much in the way of fruit. And then I thought the tomorite one was going to produce a lot more fruit than the urine ones. So this test has very much surprised me. It could well be a fluke, yes, but uh, there's a big difference here between the tomorite one, the urine one, and then the one that hasn't been fed anything. Because both the tomorite and the urine fed ones produced almost twice the amount of tomatoes as the one that wasn't fed anything. As I said, the one that wasn't fed anything only produced 1.23 kilos compared to the 2.5 kilos and the 2.3 kilos of the tomorite and the urine fed ones. So, you know, you're talking like almost double there really in yield. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is a fair test. And I don't know about you, but I think I'm gonna be weeing on my tomato plants a lot more often moving forward after this test because it has really surprised me. It really, really has. But given the amount of lush leafy growth on that urine fed tomato plant, maybe we could be using urine on leafy vegetables as well, like cabbages and, and sprouts and, and salad leaves as well. Maybe it'd be a really good fertilizer for them as well, given the amount of nitrogen in them. So I'm actually gonna be weeing on my Brussels sprouts going into the winter months. That's what I'm gonna be doing because I think it will give them a bit of a boost. So I really enjoyed making this video and I'd just like to thank you all for watching and I do hope you found it useful and informative as well. If you did, smashing that like button really does help out a lot and I really appreciate it as well. So that is all for now guys. Thank you very much for watching my urine experiment with tomatoes. It's been very interesting and I enjoyed making it. I will see you in the next one. Happy gardening and stay safe as always.